standing strong for you. How about shooting out shot? And it's a reward for y'all you take that chip and try to go the easy way out. Redemption or death, man. Which one you gonna choose, man? Like I said, it's a reward for the journey you gonna walk. You know, go ahead. Save he that had the mark, mm -hmm. or the name of the beast, mm -hmm. or the number of his name. Go ahead. Here is wisdom. Here is wisdom. Go ahead. Let him that have understanding. Let him that have understanding. That perceive this. Go ahead. Count the number of the beast. Count the number of the beast. Go ahead. For it is the number of a man. It is the number of a man, which we know is NATO, man. We know what the beast is now. We know the beast is this whole Roman system that America has taken in, has embraced, man. And they still live by it. They live under it. They live by it. Go ahead. And his number is 603 score and six. His number is 603 score and six, man. 666, man. Biometric, man. Mark of the beast, man. You know? If you take that chip, it's a punishment, man. Read Revelation 14 and 9, a punishment. If you take that chip, man, a lawyer, how about you outside, is going to destroy you. Go ahead. This is Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. Go ahead. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, mm -hmm. If any man worship the beast in his image. So if you worship the beast in his image, right? Go ahead. And receive his mark and in his forehead. And you receive that mark. Because Jacob already worshiped the image. Just the idolatry that they do constantly. The way they live, man. They run into church on Sunday morning. You know? White Jesus all in their house. They believe in uh, Islam. They believe in Scientology. They believe in Buddha. Go ahead. Or in his hand. In his hand. Go ahead. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh. The wrath of Yahweh is the thermonuclear destruction, man. The ICBM intercontinental ballistic missile. This is the wrath of the Heavenly Father. Which is getting ready to be put on, on the land, as the scripture said, man. It's getting ready to utterly destroy the land, man. Go ahead. Which is poured out without mixture. It's poured out without mixture. So when you drink wine, when you drink a strong drink with the dregs in it, what do you do? You want to dilute it. You want you drinking a strong drink. You want to dilute it so it's not too strong. But the Lord said this drink right here is going to be poured out without any mixture. So you're gonna you're gonna receive the, the whole uh, the whole part of all that you 235, the plutonium and the uranium, man. You're gonna receive all of it, man. You're gonna receive all that, man. Go ahead. And to the cup of his ind indignation, his fierce anger. Go ahead. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels. You're gonna be tormented, man. Fire and brimstone. That brimstone is sulfur, man. That's a burning agent, man. When you look back at Sodom and Gomorrah, when they digged into the ground, they found sulfur in the ground over there in Sodom and Gomorrah area. Letting you know that a, a fire was there, man. And it's gonna be you're gonna be tormented in the presence of the Lamb because your house shine the angels are gonna be hovering above the uh for a firmament, man. Looking down at it. Give me uh, Revelation uh, 15, hold, uh, hold that, and give me 15 and 2. This is Revelation chapter 15, verse 2. Mm -hmm. And I saw it, it like it. and I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. So I was a sea of glass mingled with fire. What they're saying is the, uh, the elect, when they get beamed up, they're going to be on the chariots, right? And they're going to be looking down at the destruction. And that destruction, they're going to be like they're on a sea of glass, man. They're going to be looking at this destruction of America, the burning of America, man. Go ahead. And them that have gotten the victory over the beast. Mm -hmm. Them that have gotten the victory over the beast, the elect. The ones who didn't, that didn't worship the image of the beast and the ones who didn't take his mark. Those are the ones who are going to get the victory. That are going to be standing on that sea of glass, man. On the firmament. The firmament means what? The sky, which is what, in the second heaven, man. Go ahead. And over his image. And over his image. 
And when you know, when you when you on the Lord willing, we make we, we make it up. But the elect, when you make it up on them chariots, man, you gonna know that the Lord saved you out of the destruction. You gonna you gonna think you gonna think y'all about some outside, man. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be continual, man, because you gonna know that you have escaped that 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 destruction of America, man. You know? Go back. This is it on that end. Go back to the 14. This is Revelation chapter 14, verse 10. Mm -hmm. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, uh -huh. which is poured out without mixture uh -huh. into the cup of his indignation. So you're going to get all the fierce anger of the Lord, man. The Lord says in Peter, man, all the elements going to burn, man, with fervent heat. All the elements therein shall be burnt up. Everything that's on this planet is an element. Buildings are built out of elements. The people are elements, man. The concrete that we stand on, this is an element. And he says it's gonna be burned up. Fire, man. Thermonuclear. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels. Con. And in the presence of the Lamb. Con. And in the presence of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So all this is taking place. This chip is leading up to that. And it's from martial law, man. These are the, the prophecy of the chip is here. Man. Right? But the prophecy of it being pushed on a mass scale, whether it's your life or your death, is coming. Right? We waited on that that uh that prophecy of uh martial law too, man. Back in 2nd Ezra 15, 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Because, hey, it's going to be a scary thing, man. When people are trying to bust down your door and take what you got. They kill you in the process. Not having a care in the world for you. It's going to be a rough time when that comes, man. They're going to be ravishing your, your wives and your kids and taking your food and killing you on the way out the door. That's the times that are coming, man. You know, that's the times that are coming. You good. You good, man. You good, man. It says, verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So it's telling you, it's gonna be rough, man. They gonna be beating down your doors, man. You, if you one of them neighbors who used to have barbecues and they know you always got it, your house the first place they coming when that time come. You know? That's where they coming. Or if they know your house, is, you got $5 and they all pretty. The Gurkhachus come to your house, man. They come to beat down your doors, man. Uh, second Andrew 16 and uh, 70 uh, it says for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord so it's going to be a great insurrection man now I'm going to look the word insurrection up. Let me see how it's spelled. So y'all, uh, we be looking up words. Insurrection, man. Look that word up. Second Ezra says it's going to be a great, a great insurrection. Uh, in, sir. Insurrection. Spell it right. No, it's it's locking. Insurrection. The definition of insurrection is organized opposition to the authority a mutiny, a rebellion. So that insurrection is basically the same thing as uh, sedition, man. People are going to be coming against people in that day. It 
says neighbors against neighbors. Ain't gonna be, hey, ain't gonna be no law in this society. You people ain't, you so-called, uh, special eye women, man. Y'all gonna get right in that day. Esau, when Esau bust in on you, start raping you and your daughters. And when you see the men of the Lord sitting back, <laughs> like without a care in the world, with everything going on around, you gonna see a man sitting over there, ain't nobody gonna be messing with him. He gonna be eating a lamb sandwich. <laughs> Everybody hungry. You gonna be drinking on some uh, some good alkaline water. Hey, y'all gonna be running to that man, man. But, but you gotta remember that day, that man might have them powers to knock you off too, man. Cause you, especially if you've been wicked, you gonna be able to read the spirits, man. Just like on Terminator, when that thing came up, he knew who to kill and who not to. I got you had that same you power in that day, you know? It says, uh, they shall be like mad men sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. So they're gonna be like mad men in that day, man. These martial arts, man. The Lord is getting ready to put the spirit back on Esau and them. They're gonna be raw in that day. These Gurkha troops are gonna come in and not gonna care, man. They are not going to care. They're going to destroy you, man. They're gonna come in and shoot you, and they're gonna rape and ravish you, man. You know? It says, uh, well, they shall waste and take away their goods, and cast them out of their houses, so they're gonna cast you out. They basically gonna take you to, uh, these concentration camps, man. And it fits you in, basically. Uh, let me read that in Luke, the book of Luke. Luke uh, 19 to 43, I think. If you can get it, I got it. I think I can. Uh, Luke 19, Luke 19 and 43. For the days shall come upon thee, that thine enemies shall cast a trench round about thee, and compass thee round, thee round, and keep thee in on every side. So that day coming, when these troops are gonna cast you into these uh, concentration camps, man, and they're gonna and, and they're gonna they're gonna fence in these cities. They're gonna surround these cities, man. Like it said, like the scripture said in Exodus, man. Ain't gonna be you gonna desire to go in the city. You won't be able, man. You know. It says, and shall lay thee even with the ground, and thy children within thee, and they shall not leave in thee one stone upon another, because thou knewest not the time of their visitation. So you're not gonna know when they come. The Lord told you, I'm gonna come like a thief in the night, man. And he told you that Esau was his sword in Psalms uh, 17. So he's gonna use these Gurkha troops to come on two thirds of our own people, man, and, and destroy you, man. The Lord is cold, man. How he's gonna be orchestrating this, man. He gonna be, he gonna use them to kill you, and then he gonna use them to kill each other. Man, it's cold. You know. Go back to uh, I got a precept for the right, truth, right, bro. This is Ecclesiastes chapter three, verse fifteen. Mm -hmm. That which have been is now. That which have been is now. Go ahead. And that is Salakia. And that which is to be have already been. It already been. So everything that was in the past, the same things are happening now. Uh -huh. Right? Ain't, ain't no, ain't nothing new under the sun. Uh -huh. Go ahead. And Yahweh required that which is past. So the Lord required that which is past, man. Mm -hmm. So did not he destroy the Israelites for their fathers disobeying him in the wilderness? He took us into, uh, this is seven captivity. He took us into captivity under the Assyrians, the Babylonians, the Persians, the Medio Persians. He took us into captivity under the Greeks, the Romans, and now America, man. For, for messing up. So what more is he not going? He going to remember what 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 Edom and all the other nations what you've done unto Israel, man. You put your hand on the Lord, the apple of the Lord's eye, man. So the Lord is going to remember. Yeah. Go ahead. 
And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. The place of judgment. Go ahead. That wickedness was there. The wickedness was there under the sun, here on the earth, man. Mm -hmm. This is where the wickedness is taking place. Wickedness doesn't take place in the spiritual realm. Mm -hmm. When you're in the spiritual realm, everything is spiritual. It's righteous. He said under the sun where everything, where judgment took place. So that lets you know that your judgment takes place on this earth, man. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there. That iniquity was there. Uh, this is Second Ezra uh, 14. 14. Give me uh, give me Hosea 9 and 7. Hold that. This is uh, Second Ezra 14 and 34. It says, Therefore, if so, be that ye may subdue your own understanding and reform your hearts. He shall be kept alive. So if you reform your heart and come back to the law, statutes, and commandments, come back to the Heavenly Father, right? And have faith, man. You're going to be kept alive, man. So the scripture tell you in Mark 9 and 1, everybody not going to die. So we, we cut that, that, uh, that philosophy of people saying everybody got to die. Man. Everybody not going to die, man. The elect are going to live. Man. It says... And after death, you shall obtain mercy. So shit is fucked up here on, on this planet. So when you die, man, really the Lord has showed you mercy. He got you out of this wicked place. He got you, took you out of hell, man. Which is, is a condition here on earth. He's taking you out of hell when he, when he uh, take your spirit, man. You know? Don't let this damn dog take a shit right there on the sidewalk. Don't care, man. They don't care. Well, I guess Lisa got a bag. You can pick it up. It's uh, verse 35. For the for after death shall the judgment come. He said, after death shall the judgment come. When we shall live again. So that, that lets you know in the scriptures, hey, it is reincarnation in the scriptures. There's a such thing as reincarnation. The Lord said, after death, when you live again, shall your judgment come. So you get judged when you come here on this planet. Man. This is when you get judged, man. You know? What you got? This is Hosea, chapter 9, verse 7. The days of visitation are come. The time of punishment is come. Go ahead. The days of re recompense are come. So the payback is just right around the corner. The time has come for payback. It is right around the corner, man. These people out here, man, they're continually just being in la-la land, man. They're comfortable with their situation in society, man. You know, they all like, oh, I just bought a new car. I just bought some land. I bought a new house. Everything's going good. You know? It says, Israel shall know it. Israel gonna know. You gonna know something shaking, man. More and more. That's why you see more and more brothers that are coming into the truth and into these camps. Because the word is going out over the four corners of the earth, man. And every time something happens, hey, since, since the, uh, right before the full moon and after, you got brothers coming to the camps, man. Brothers are going to start learning, hey, something's shaking, baby. And they're going to start coming to these camps, man. Because the kingdom is already set. The kingdom is already, the kingdom of heaven is already there. The elect have already been sealed. They already have the kingdom. We just have to come down here on this planet and live out, live out the road. The elect are going to be protected through all what's going to come. They've already been sealed. They've been, they're going to be protected. You know? Go ahead. It says, The prophet is a fool. The spiritual man is mad. They say the spiritual man is mad. You know? They said that about uh, Hosea, man. So more of us in these times. They're going to say the same thing about us, man. We're basically uh, crazy for being out here. You know? He was announcing judgment and for Israel called to repentance. That's what he was doing. Just like we doing. We tell our people, come back. And we were we announcing the judgment of the Heavenly Father, man. What's gonna happen, man? You know? 
They thought he was a crazy fool. And why? Why did they think he was a crazy fool? Because everybody was prospering and being 